Cable Lamb and Wool. Check them out. You'll, I'm sure you guys you guys have online at all, or? Uh, no. No online? Nope. I'll put a picture up for you guys. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, getting the girls here today. It's not the best day, because the weather sucks right now. It's chilly. It's only going to like 22 tonight, though, so. Going with big man first. Yep, get him over with. <laughs> He's a big baby. I hear tell nobody likes shaving baby dolls. Yes. <laughs> as far as a shear of sheet goes, um, short necks and strong and heavy or not. Yeah. It's like the worst worst case scenario. Well, and they got wool every square inch of their body yes. too. Yep. Which a full size south down. That's same thing with them yeah well these guys the south down originated the american south down originated from the baby doll yes yep these are more or less old style south down originally from essex or sussex i know you guys are going to correct me i can never remember what is it originally from essex or sussex i can't remember i couldn't tell you oh getting the family jewels trimmed yep <laughs> Make sure we keep all the flies out of there. All around, around that area. Yep. And it drags on the ground. Yeah. Take you a lot longer to do a baby doll? Yes. Yeah, if they're just kind of a normal, you know, a, a Dorset style view or something like that, uh, I'd say less than two minutes. Less than two minutes. Baby dolls take forever. <laughs> they don't sit still. Nope. <laughs> There's no nowhere to grab them for leverage. It's like the neck, we just right there and bend right around your knee and shear it. And these things fight you every single stroke. But I've been to, uh, this is my fourth farm today, and everybody's had baby dolls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. I'm just happy you guys are around here, you know? Yeah. So 21 strokes, right? Uh, 56. 56 total. Yep, total. Start to finish. What's supposed to be? That's what the professional does. <laughs> <Right. laughs> now he's like so clean. If you find one of those, let me know. <laughs> we'll bag up this wool, guys, and uh, if you're close and you really want it, just get a hold of me. You come pick it up or... Yep, it's yours. You can't ship it. It's too heavy. I don't want it. Nobody wants it. Nope. Are Midwest still doing wool down there? Nope, they closed close the doors. Close the doors, because nobody wants wool. Uh, yeah, they couldn't, couldn't move it. It's crazy, guys. Well, I know 2020 was... 2020, 2021 is really bad. Yep, they've been open... I, I think they said 100 years. I, don't, I can't remember now. Wow. But close the doors. You guys watch uh, Cammy 
uh, in Scotland there. Uh -huh. Um, oh, you guys are gonna kill me. I'm gonna blank on his channel name. Oh my gosh. Anyway, the, a lot of those guys in the Scotland area, they were having the same struggle. The ones that were fortunate enough to be able to hold the wool until the markets came back up, you know, we're doing okay, but the, the ones that needed that money immediately, yep. I mean, it's just freaking rare like that, because that is just amazing. Yep, but I sheer a lot that wear gloves. Yeah, otherwise your hands get so soft you go to do anything. <laughs> My brother was a wool grader at Mid-States, and uh, he used to complain about getting blisters on his hands fishing. Because it just makes them Because so his soft. hands are so soft. I mean, you know. It's like having your hands in hand cream 24 hours a day. Well, you look good, big man. I got to say, your jewels don't look quite as... Uh, as impressive? As impressive as they were. Don't tell him that. Took you down a notch, bro. Try to give him a complex. <laughs> to give him a complex. Yeah. <laughs> Sheer at him. 999. Yeah. Nine. Stay in there, boy. Can you tell if she's pregnant or not? Um, either pregnant or extra fat. She's well, either early pregnant or... Just on hay and water. They'd be late pregnant. They'd be due here in a couple weeks. Uh, she's not due in a couple weeks. Okay. Do you do the hook trimming? Yeah, but I, have, I need to get her done. I'm gonna do it after you leave. Yep. I'll just ask him if you need to do it while it's here or not. Nah. You charge me for that? No. <laughs> then yes. <laughs> I would appreciate it. Yeah. That other one wasn't bad. I just noticed this one here. Yeah, they... Uh, she's probably... She's not the best stock. I mean, she has hook problems. She pees on herself. But I haven't done them in a while, too, so... It's like when winter gets here, that soft ground and all that, you know, it just kind of escalates quickly. But I don't have any science behind it, just experience. But to me, white face sheep have worse hooves than really? black feet, yes. Interesting. I don't know if that's a scientific thing or just by chance. Yeah. I don't know if we have a bad hoof on the feed lot, it's a white face sheep. Same thing, our, our white face use we trim. We gotta trim every year. And that's how she ends up so dirty. She just, she just built a little wrong in the back there. Maybe her hocks are a little off or something. Yep. She's got a lot of fat stored back here too. So that ought to be up here, not too far back. Yeah, yeah she's got extra fat right there. That's what it's all about right there, guys. She knows that he has 100% control over her body and she just, just lays there. Just hangs out. When I was at the sheep school, all the all of us noobs, and we're trying to gain that control, they know we don't have control. And they and they flip out. <laughs> they're like, you can't control me, I'm gone. So right now, this toe is underneath this hip. Yep. As long as this toe is here and these feet are off the ground, she can't go anywhere. I can stand here and she'll be here all day. Oh. <laughs> and then in order to get this leg so it's straight and so you can, because right now I can't reach that. So in order to reach it, you put your hand here on this joint. Okay. And that straightens the leg and it rolls the hip and then it just rolls right back to you. So you can get all that. Very awesome. Thank you. Yep. Just one little, little movement and does that help tighten up the skin when yep. you do that Pulls too? Yep, pulls tight so you don't cut anything. And if you need to go further, you just shuffle back a little bit. She looks like she's just giving your legs a hug. Yep. 
Yeah, if you grab the foot out here, you're gonna be on for a fight eventually. <laughs> Here we're getting to the real nasty dewy stuff. Is that, see, so maybe that too much fat back there is what's yep. causing her to pee on herself. So right? this, this should be straight from here to, to the here. leg. That should be a straight line. Okay. This is extra fat just stored here, some kind of genetic thing. Yeah. So then she's peeing down around everything. Okay, got it. So we can just keep that cleaned up then. Yep. And then the only way to clean up is keep the shears under the under the manure. Okay. I know when your dad was here, he said to take them off of everything except hay and water. Yeah. Because baby dolls get fat on air, so. Yes, yes. <clears throat> yep. I don't know how many times I go and old Fluffy over there and, you know, hanging out in somebody's yard and they feed them two pounds of grain a day and the best hay and everything, you know, which is fine, taking care of sheep, but they're put, getting them so overweight that they're unhealthy. Yeah. The you know, sheep <clears throat> is designed to live on grass. Turn them loose in the pasture and let them hang out and be sheep. I tell you, since then they've acted better. Just, yep. eat, just eating grass and, and water. I mean, they. Yep, these. If they're not in any kind of, you know, production standing, just a little bit of grass, they'll be just fine. And they honestly, they'd rather go graze than eat hay anymore. Absolutely. We're shearing lambs in a contest. It takes 90, less than 90 seconds. Less than 90. I swear your dad did one in 43, 42. Yeah, you can get them under a minute if you get something really good. Not one of these. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> five minutes sheet. On the nice sale baby dolls, usually there's not a hundred of them. Now, do they, will shaving them, if they have lice, will that get rid of the lice? Um, it will help, but not all the way. Okay, so I'm gonna treat them. Because yep. we did have lice on the goats, so. I yep. guess. It will help. But hmm. I'm not saying that that will get rid of any lice problems all the way. Okay. So we'll definitely go ahead and treat them. Are you learning this year yet? Oh, yeah. Since you could walk, <laughs> yeah. we have kids off to the side, so I'm not gonna put them on camera. You start shearing as soon as you get a hold of shear, yeah. pretty much. Yep, they can, they can both shear all the way, full, full front, uh, start to finish. Yep. Nice. It's an awesome trade to learn, man. They're heavy, and you gotta carry them. It's not really my thing. Easy, big boy. Stay there, man. She's already asleep. <laughs> there we go, girl. No pregnant there either? She is. She is pregnant, yep. okay. Yep. She had two, she kitted earlier in the year and they were both stillborn. Oh, really? Yeah. How far out you think she is? Um, she's not real close. Okay. A couple weeks at least. A couple weeks. She's, she's not, hadn't dropped her nothing yet. I would think. I've been fooled too. Ah, I won't hold you to it. <laughs> not of that. She's kind of open up a little bit there. Yeah. Hey, who knows? Maybe she'll land here before I'm done. <laughs> I've had it happen before. Oh, geez. It's a mess. 
She's a good one. She's pretty calm. At least tell your friends you're YouTube famous. Uh, <laughs> chalk that up on the old resume. <laughs> We all look disgraced and sad, but yeah, she looks like she's dropped already yeah. too. Yeah, she's, she's dropped. Close. Okay. We're gonna have some lambs here soon. We'll keep her stalled up then. Yeah, so not pregnant. High fat face. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can see. She's more of a gray underneath. A couple years ago, she was black, so she's getting old. The first time I sheared her, she was pure black underneath yeah. there. All right, guys. Here. Oh. In case your friends are watching, he's now YouTube famous I'm officially. YouTube famous officially. <laughs> and his dad. Yeah. Yeah. That gives me free YouTube TV, right? Is right. That how that works? I wish. All right. That's the shearing. Okay, guys. So the sheep are looking lovely ish. We're talking with Dean. His name was Dean, by the way. He said Mama was definitely pregnant. Not pregnant. So. Oh. Wait, who's got nuts? Hi, Fluff. So, Pez, not pregnant. He's bred her multiple times, so we're just assuming she's never gonna be pregnant. Little Mama, pregnant. She looks like she's dropping already. He said it could be a couple weeks, couple days. But with her amount of drop on her sides, as you guys can see, I talk about dropping the sheep or the goats. So, same in the sheep. I don't know if you can see it or not. Because of the lice situation with the goats, I'm gonna try to get Pez out of here, get her weighed, and then we're just gonna use that weight for everybody else. I'm gonna try to set up a little bit of an alley here since the girls have never really been on a scale. They don't like the milk stand. So I'm going to sit this scale up here, drag this water pail over here. Oh. Let me see. Let's see if I can bring her up in here. Seventy-two, one seventy-three. There's way. That's that's. I feel like breed standard should be about one, one twenty-five, one thirty-five. I'll have to look it up. I'll pop it in right here. She's one seventy-two. He doesn't think she's pregnant. Uh, this is the what you guys always see, which looks like a dirty mess. It looks a lot worse on camera, guys. So it's just a little bit of wet wool, but it has a little bit of urine stain to it, because, like Dean was saying, she has this fat pouch right here you guys can just see it wobbling he said it sh should go she should go down like this to the leg down like this to the leg not not have that little bit of fat pouch there yeah so we got her weight up you look pristine and white in the front little pezzy <laughs> what's going on you actually gonna let me pet you that's weird so we'll call you guys 175 and we'll silence you at that weight and maybe we'll call you 170 and do silence at that weight get the lights off of you if you have any i gotta get this wool cleaned up before i let everybody else out. I'm gonna go ahead and get yeah, Sir Fluffington back to the buck barn. The girls, I'm gonna leave Mama in here. I'm gonna bring her a bucket of water in here. We'll get some fresh hay packed down because we don't know. Uh, you look less aggressive with your giganticness all shaved off, senor. <laughs> that the guy. Oh no. Oh no. Just gonna go around and let everybody out. I got all the wool cleaned up. Chuck, where are you? Chuck Norris. Sleeping. <laughs> He's right there under the bin sleeping. A couple nicks on her guys, but if I had done it, it would have been a, a piece of skin missing. I've heard tell when the when the pros nick, it's real bad. When the non-pros nick, it's not as bad because we're not going as fast and we're also scared. <laughs> so, but she looks really good though, guys. She looks great. Come on, you heifers.
Why do you guys knock everything over? Let's talk about this one real quick. Yeah, she has no, she has no tail ligaments. She's dropped, look at this. It's hard to see cause she's black, but she should be way out here. She's sunken in on both sides there. So we're gonna go ahead and leave her in here. I'm gonna get her a buck of water. I'll get her some hay and we'll keep a close eye on her. Especially since last time she, I don't know if she miscarried or they both died at birth or I don't know what happened. If we can prevent it, we're gonna try to do that. So we'll keep an eye on her just like we do the goats. And maybe you guys will get some baby lambs here in a couple days or today. That's where we are with that. I let everybody else out. I'm gonna leave the big doors closed because the wind chill is about 19 degrees. Everybody can get in and out of the wind, except for Chuck. Chuck and... Hi, Chucky. Chuckos. Chuckos. <laughs> get her, buddy. All right, guys. I'll show you all the girls, and then I'm going to call this video. Enjoy the shearing. Give Dean a big thanks in the comments if you would, please, if you're still watching. They're gonna be watching, I hope. Girls. Miss Drizzle, I'm glad to see you in there mixing with the honey, but. Why do we, uh, okay. So the person who sent me the pallet tool holder, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna drop a pallet right there. Why? Okay, well, there goes more professionalism. I tried to get the door tripped over the broom. <laughs> Shut, <up. laughs> Shut it. <laughs> anyway, comedy of errors as usual. Give Dean a, a big thanks and a thumbs up in the comment if you would for sharing the girls and Sir Fluffington. Yeah, they're less fluffy now, buddy. You can't sleep on them. Hi, Mama Frosty. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Enjoy and goodbye. This part of the video is mostly going to be me chuckling at nearly naked sheep. <laughs> Little mama, you look so pretty. Hi. Look at your pretty face. <laughs> and then we have, that was Pez. God, you guys. Little mama, I'm just gonna keep her stalled up. Her breathing's a bit labored, but I haven't noticed any like contractions or anything. I'm not concerned about, I don't know what I'm concerned about with her, to be honest. She kitted over the summer, two stillborns, no idea why. We put them in with fluff for about a month last fall. So we don't know her exact due date, but given what Dean said, we'll just, the way she's dropped, she has no tail ligaments basically, that I could tell. I've never really done tail ligaments on a sheep, so unknown made a couple trips over here last night to check her out no issues no progress and now we're just kind of keep her in here and i'll just make trips over here today and check on her i don't know what to be concerned about with her because she kitted perfectly on her own two babies we just found them on the floor dead like she had done nothing with them so unsure on that but at least we can keep her in here where it's dry it's warm if she has babies you know we'll be able to assist if we can now the most hilarious thing you guys are gonna see <laughs> Who's that big guy? <laughs> Look how freaking tiny he is. Look how tiny he is. I know you're naked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's hilarious. <laughs> If you guys had any idea, he, you know, on the ground here when you're standing next to him and he's nearly three feet wide, and now he's maybe a foot wide, uh, maybe 18 inches. We cut about half of you off there, buddy. You're still adorable. And he still tried to kill me this morning. He's feeling a little frisky, I guess, with his newfound weight loss. You look pretty buff. Guys, he looked massive yesterday next to the girls. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Next morning, when they're all cleaned up and cleared up. Your testes look smaller. I'm gonna give you guys some chuckles with chuckles. Oh, stretch it out, buddy.
<laughs> he keeps rolling up on pudding, man. I'm telling you. Come on, Chuck. Chuck. Come on, buddy. Chuck. That's that is not a lady for you, dude. He's sniffing her up like he's. <laughs> Hi, buddy. He's already eaten like three times. I've seen him eat like three times. Oh, he's sideways walking. Just usually what they're doing when they're, when they're like squaring up, trying to make themselves look bigger. <laughs> Chuck, I need some zoomies, my guy. Where'd you go? Are we playing hide and seek? Back to his mama. Chuck, Chuck. See him flare his ears back? He's getting ready to headbutt the camera. <laughs> Chucky, Chucky, old boy. Is that your buddy? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you with that. Let's see, does something super cute real quick. Besides existing. All right, guys. For those of you still around, give me a yay struzel. We got her medicine ordered. Uh, should be here tomorrow, and we'll get her started on that right away. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the sheep shearing, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.